definitely five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, and thank you, Mr. McCabe, for coming again uh, to this. It just seems like you were here not too long ago. Um, but uh, let me go back over uh, a little bit uh, to restate that it's, it's my understanding that this hearing was to examine the effects of major regulations on, uh, on the energy and the industrial sectors. Is that your understanding of the purpose of this hearing? I, I believe so, yes. Okay, thank you. Um, now, so I, I go to that is that these, these uh, effects of these regulations, and there was a report that Lisa Jackson used to, when she came here back uh, six years ago, used to wave this report in front of us uh, that was written by Morgan Stern back in 1999. And it, it was uh, uh, primarily intended to demonstrate that uh, she believed that more regulations actually help the economy. As a matter of fact, she said that from this report that one and a half jobs are created for every million dollars spent in meeting those regulations. Do, do you remember that report? Um, I, 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 not specifically. Come okay, it, she used to wave this quite often. Uh, as often as you came or have come, she used mm -hmm. to come and she used to use this all the time. This mm -hmm. justifies why we have so many regulations. Uh, so I, I'm just curious about that because to me it, it appears from looking at, at kind of three points of some of the things these major regulations, there's, there's one about the, uh, using this about the jobs impact on, I, I think we're, we're picking winners and losers because I don't see one and a half jobs being created for the billions, hundreds of billions of dollars that have been spent. Uh, it, it appears more we're picking winners and losers because in the coal fields uh, across this country, they're struggling uh, with it. I, I know that uh, there have been over 40,000 coal jobs lost, uh, direct coal jobs, let alone the 300,000 secondary jobs are affected with it. So I'm, I'm struggling with the premise. So you can't tell me whether or not you agree with this report any longer. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, here to speak to about, about that report, uh, Congressman, uh, um, uh, nor am I here to speak about um, uh, uh, okay. How much you would value any particular regulation? Well, I just, I, I just want, in terms of the economy, what it's doing to the economy as these regulations would have happened with it, because I think there was an initial premise this was going to save jobs or create jobs. I don't think it did. Then we went, then we went to the environmental. Uh, she, you pivoted uh, to the environment uh, and temperature, and we talked about how temperatures were going to be under control if we pass some of these rules and regs affecting the coal and the gas industry, but yet. Even under the Clean Power Plan, the EPA is, is accepting that it only is going to reduce the temperature or, or lessen it by 15 thousandths of a degree by the year 2100. I, I, I struggle with that. It, so it, it doesn't surprise me at all that now the EPA is pivoting from the fact that jobs weren't created, that there's no temperature increase. So now they're talking, it, it's uh, just in March. Uh, uh, Gina McCarthy was before us, and, and she testified that she said that um, it's not about the environment, it's not about the health and safety for the people that we've been passing this. She said it's about global leadership. And I think, wow, that was, what, that was a jaw-dropping uh, uh, revelation that, that she came out. This is not about the environment is why we're passing these, uh, despite what you just said to Joe Barton, that's not what this whole idea was about. That this, so I'm, I'm struggling with it because we've got a chart that shows, yeah, we may be doing it, adhering to it in America, but the rest of the world is not following our global leadership that was being promoted. The rest of the world is continuing to use coal and, and create more fossil fuel and, and CO2 emissions in the atmosphere with this. Uh, Germany building 26, India is gonna double its production with it. So to me, it comes across more just an effort to have bigger, broader, stronger, more intrusive government as, as compared to really helping people in their economy. So uh, we've seen it in the ag community, what the EPA is affecting that, that, that part of our sector of our economy. When they went after the waters of the United States, they went after the farm dust rule, if you remember, for a while. But then they backed off. Did they back off? Did you all back off because you got pushback? Because the science, you were saying how, how, how it was supposed to be good for your health, but once it was promoted on the farm dust, you backed off. Congressman, respectfully, I, I, I have to disagree with the way you're characterizing um, various um, uh, prior statements of, of the administrator and others in EPA, uh, just on a, on a whole, me, a I'm whole just, range I'm just of going issues. from testimony that they gave, I, uh, not characterizing. I, then you came out with a water quality standard that you didn't even give the, the, the states a, a chance 
they have a comment period. They came out with a water advisory that is 70 times more stringent than it is in Europe, 20 times more than numbers of states. Look, communities that are struggling in rural America to try to meet the water quality are going to spend millions and billions of dollars across this country to meet a standard that is questionable is whether or not it's going to have an effect with it. So I, I want to go back in the re in remaining time, maybe I've, I've lost my time, <laughs> what's the answer back to, to Joe Barton when we talk to a coal miner that lost his job? It's okay because the environment's better? Is that what you want to tell him? No, no, sir, um, uh, not at all. Uh, but I think it's important to recognize that there's lots of things going on in the energy system, and coal is not as competitive as it was um, because of uh, natural gas and other things going on in the industry. But it states is, with natural gas are also into recession. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going over my Yeah, gentlemen's time's expired. But we've, we've gone over to Louisiana, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Illinois, Wisconsin. They're all struggling with this thing, and they're not coal-producing states. This time I'd like to recognize